Hi, I'm James Harbeck. Today's pronunciation tip, how not to get shot in the Netherlands. Okay, it's really just tips on how to say Dutch place names, but it starts with a story that I first heard about 35 years ago from a guy in the theater and dance community in Edmonton. And I've heard this story uh, and seen it since several times, so it, it may well be true. Um, it is this, during World War II, German spies would pretend to be Dutch and they could be outed as not Dutch but German by being asked to pronounce the name of a particular place in the Netherlands. And the guy who was telling me this said that the actual name of the place was Hneewenigen. And I was like, what? And he said, Hneewenigen. I'm like, no, that's, that's got to be wrong. But he was quite sure that that's what it was. And I'm here today to tell you that if he had said it that way in World War II to prove he wasn't a German spy, he would have taken a bullet to the head if they could have picked themselves up off the ground after falling about the place laughing. Um, the actual place is this. Now, if you're German, you're going to look at that and say, oh, Schaffeningen. And boom, bullet to the head. It is actually Schaffeningen. I'm going to say that a little more slowly. Scheveninger. Now that tells you three things about Dutch place names. Number one, ch is always ch, even after an s. Sch is not sh, it is sch. And by the way, that ch is farther back in the throat. It's not like the German ch or, you know, other ch's you're used to. It, it is farther back. It's sort of, you could practice it by eating popcorn and trying to clear a hull out of the back of your throat. More or less. You don't get spit on other people. Um, second thing is, en at the ends of words is often just dropped to a. Uh. So you could say Scheveningen, and that's technically correct, but a lot of the time you'll just hear Scheveningen. Third thing. No matter how you try to pronounce a Dutch place name, if you're not actually a native Dutch speaker, you'll always get it wrong on first try, probably second and third too. Sorry, just the way it is. Dutch is a language that is designed to defeat invaders. I am convinced of this. I'm sure that this is why everything is different from what you expect. They're right next to Germany. You know, they've, they've got the English across the channel. No, 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 it's gotta be different. This is not authoritative, but just keep watching. Okay, so Schevenia, which is sort of the, uh, in a way like the Brighton, of the Netherlands with a pier and everything is actually not a town or a city, but a part of Den Haag, the city that you've probably seen called The Hague. Um, now, Den Haag tells you two things. First, double A is not A. It's not like the Danish O. No, think of the two A's as making your mouth wide, Haag. Second, G is not G, never G. G does not exist as a sound in Dutch, sorry, no. Um, it is H like ch or if it's not at the end of the word or following a voiceless consonant it can be h which is almost the same thing but with voice so the other name for den haag is schravenhage schravenhage get it there you go okay here's one that'll be easy right groningen got that it's a city in the north of the netherlands um I don't know whether you got it right, but I'm just going to assume that you did, even in your head, because it's good going. Groningen. Okay, how about your favorite Dutch cheese? Did you say Gouda? Oh, bullet to the head. Sorry. Did you say Gouda? Mm, still sorry. We know about the Gouda, right? Okay. Are you saying Gouda? It is, in fact, Gouda. Gouda. So that means that you can walk into the cheese store and say, hi, I'd like some choda. And they'll say, what, some what? Please don't face the cheese when you're doing, making that spitty sound. What, now, what do you want? Oh, oh, you want Gouda. Why didn't you just say that? Because of course you're in Canada, the US or wherever. Sorry, we have English pronunciations of these things. This is just so you know how to say it, more or less like Dutch, if you should be, happen to be in the Netherlands. This, by the way, won't convince them that you're a Dutch speaker. Nothing will convince them that you're a Dutch speaker. You will walk into a store, and before you even open your mouth, they will look at you and start speaking English, just so you know. Okay, 
a town in the southern, further south in the country from Schavenhacha is Sartochen Bos. Do you get that? Sartochen Bos. Oh, did you think it should be Sartochen Bos? Ah, sorry. <laughs> the CH kind of disappears at the end of a word after the S. Yeah, sorry. Uh, um, another thing about that, you might have heard me say Sartochen Bos. Well, there are three ways to say R in Dutch, which guarantees that however you're saying it, you're wrong. Also, you're right, but the thing is that these different ways of saying R don't vary according to word or according to place and word or anything like that. They vary according to who's saying it. Different Dutch speakers have different R's. It varies somewhat from place to place, but also from social group to social group. It's kind of a social linguistic variable, and it's also age graded. So the one you're probably most used to thinking of is R, Sertogenbos. Okay, yes, that's perfectly viable. If you do it that way all the time, the person you're talking to may not do it that way, but they can't just absolutely say that you're flatly wrong because that is a normal way to say it in Dutch. Um, there's also R, and there are many people in the Netherlands who say it that way. And the reason that I don't recommend it is because since you're an English speaker trying to speak Dutch, they will just assume you're getting it wrong because you're an English speaker. You can say R. The third way is the way I was first introduced to uh, when I met some years ago a young fellow who told me his name was Rucha. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Rucha. So it turned out his name was the name that I would have looked at and on a piece of paper and said Rucker, or, you know, if I thought it was German, Rucke. But with the R, R it's Rucha. Otherwise, it could have been Rukar, Rukar, excuse me. But there you go. That is the other R. And so, for instance, with the big city at the south end of the country, Maastricht. You can say Maastricht, but you can also say Maastricht. And that is in Limburg. Or you could say Limburg, but hmm, I find that difficult personally. Limburg. Oh, by the way, that you, yeah, um, Sorry, U is not pronounced U. U is written O-E. Yeah, sorry. U is pronounced U. Okay. A city farther north in the country. Well, not that far north. Sort of more over on the east side. Nijmegen. I'm not sure if I said that exactly right. Let me try that again. Nijmegen. It's not, it's not quite... Nijmegen, I mean, if you say Nijmegen because you're used to saying Nijmegen, well, obviously you're wrong. Nijmegen, but it's not Nijmegen, it's Nijmegen. The IJ is A. So, for instance, the big inland sea is the Eiselmeer. Sorry, Eiselmeer, because second part of a compound word. That's the way the stress goes. If it's a compound word, you stress the second part. And of course, you'll know automatically that it's a compound word because you speak Dutch, right? Yeah, sorry. Told you, defeating invaders. So, the Eiselmeer is part of what's left of what was once called the... Did you say the Zeiderzee? No, sorry. No. Okay. Did you say the uh, Zouderzee? Well, you're close, but still no. Um, the Z is, by the way, correct. Z or Z, uh, Z if you're American. Z, it's Z. It's not Z, it's Z. But it's Zouderzee. Zouderzee. U, I is au. It's not I, but it's not au. It's kind of, you know, in between. Okay. Here's an easier one. In the north of the country, Leowarden. Leowarden. That's not too hard at all, is it? E-E-U-W is pronounced eu. And by itself, by the way, that means century. At an L, it doesn't mean the century. It means lion, leu. But anyway, Leowarden is a city, town. Okay, with all of that, now let's say that it's World War II and... 
somebody thinks you're a German spy, so they ask you to pronounce the name of a city, only instead of asking you about Schwedinger, because perhaps that one's gotten out, they show you the name of this town, just a little north of Amsterdam. Amsterdam, excuse me. Heruchovart. Heruchovart. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot to tell you about the W. It's not va, it's not wa. Well, I mean, you know, Leoard. When it's by itself, it's va. So, uh, well, you know what? They're not going to put a bullet in your head if you say it that. Not anymore, anyway. No, I, they might well fall about the place laughing. And I've been laughed at for my attempts at Dutch pronunciation and Dutch grammar in the Netherlands because the Dutch are blunt in a friendly way. They, they don't mind laughing at people who get it wrong. And that gives lots of occasion for laughter. But, you know, they're nice people for all that. And they're not going to shoot you, probably.